what more on this story. We're joined now by Christine Bell. She's a professor of constitutional law at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. Uh, professor Bell, good to speak to you and thank you for joining us here on TRT World. So let's focus on Scotland. Uh, we're in uncharted political and legal waters here. Nicola Sturgeon says she wants to try and remain in the EU as Britain's on its way out. Can she do that? Is there any way of her making this plan actually a success? Uh, it's very it's very difficult, I think. I mean, there's some precedent for bits of countries to remain in, I suppose. Um, the real question is whether she will have a second referendum on independence for Scotland. So uh, about 21 months ago, there was a referendum on independence, which was narrowly lost. Um, it was 45% voted um, for independence and, the, remain and uh, the remainder to stay in the United Kingdom, 55%. Um, However, um, people did that on the basis that they were um, assured membership of the EU and in fact the difficulty of Scotland as a new state entering the EU was one of the reasons that people moved against it. Mm -hmm. So now when the context in the United Kingdom is that, um, the, that Scotland will be taken um, out of the EU and actually against the will of the people of Scotland who overwhelmingly voted to remain in contrast to the people in England and Wales, um, then that has very much put um, the question of a second independence referendum on the table. And then I suppose the question is whether um, were that referendum successful? Um, at the time when the UK is voting to leave, um, whether it would be possible for Scotland uh, as an independent nation to retain, in effect, the UK's membership of mm. uh, the EU. And in terms and of the UK's membership, do you mean the, the, the terms that the, that the UK was a member of, of, uh, of well, the EU? Well, yes, I suppose you could say that if the UK is splitting up and one bit of it is remaining, maybe it wouldn't require um, a, new, a new application. Um, I think at the minute, really, it's very early days and people are also just exploring um, through discussion, what are the options? Are there any other options for Scotland to stay in other than an independence referendum? But certainly a second independence refer referendum is being talked about. And, and Professor Bell, from your point of view, do you think that Scotland's six ongoing success as a country is pegged very explicitly to, to its membership of the EU? And how well would it do out on its own uh, with, with, as part of Britain? Um, I think the success of the entirety of the UK is dependent on remaining in Europe. Um, I think <laughs> that, this is that horse has bolted, it, hasn't it, at this point? Yes, <laughs> it, has a, a, it, that, it has a very disastrous consequence. So I think both Northern Ireland and Scotland, which voted to remain, um, view the success of those regions as very closely dependent on membership of the EU, and I think they will explore all options for remaining. OK, well, uh, Professor, we'll have to leave it there. It's a little more complicated, but Scotland, definitely. Absolutely. OK, well, Professor Christine Bell, uh, we thank you for joining us.